Hey everyone, this is Angel with Tech Tutelage, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive on your Mac. I will be using a tool called Balena Etcher. To get that tool, all you have to do is open your web browser and go to Balena IO forward slash Etcher. Once you're there, you can go ahead and click on this download button, and that will bring you down to the list of installer packages that they have available. And as you can see, this tool is also available for Windows and Linux. Again, I'll be doing this in the Mac, so I'm going to be downloading this one right here. Once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open your downloads directory. And from here, you can go ahead and start the installer. On the Mac, all you need to do is just drag and drop it in your applications folder. And then you can go ahead from here and start it. You're going to be warned that Balina Etcher is downloaded from the internet and it's going to ask you to confirm if you're sure that you want to open it. All you have to do is go ahead and click open. And once you have it up and running, you're ready to go ahead and create your first bootable USB drive. You have a couple of options here. You can create a bootable USB from a file or from URL. To do it from a file, you're going to have to go and click on flash from file. And then you're going to have to give it a path to your ISO. In my case, I'm going to point you to a Debian 11 ISO that I have already downloaded on my computer. And once you have it pointed to your ISO, you can just go ahead and click on open and that will load your source file in here. Then you have to select your target. And at this point, you can go ahead and plug in your USB drive. And as you can see, I have my 15 gigs jet flash USB drive already plugged into my computer. Then you can go ahead and click on select. And just one thing to notice here, you're going to see like some hidden drives here. Those will be your computer hard drives. So you don't want to mess with those. And the nice thing here is that they're shown here with this big warning signs and it tells you that it's a system drive don't mess with it so make sure you select your flash drive once you have your flash drive selected you can go ahead and click on select and the next thing you need to do is just click on flash you'll be prompted to enter your administrator password and the flashing will begin once the creation of your bootable USB is done, the system will also validate it to make sure that you will be able to boot from it. And if everything seems okay, it will be completed. So all you have to do now is click on the eject button here and we're done. Our bootable Debian USB drive is ready. Now I'm going to click on flash another one because I want to show you how to do it from a USB. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this source. And for the new source, I'm going to select flash from URL. And here you need to give it a URL to an ISO. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download a puppy Linux. So I'm going to say puppy Linux. And you can go ahead and click here. And I'm going to just right click and copy the link. And once you have that link in your clipboard, you can go back to Bolina Etcher and you can paste the URL in here. And as you can see, I'm giving the full path to the ISO. So you can do that with any other operating system. Basically, all you need to do is give it a link to the path. And if it is like, for example, let's say a Windows operating system where you have to be logged in to download it, or I believe the Red Hat as well, if you're downloading Red Hat, you need to be logged in. You're going to have to enter your username and password for your account with them. But in my case, I don't need to do that. So I'm just putting path to where that ISO is. So once you have that put in you can go ahead and click OK and select target the same thing you're going to want to select your USB drive and I'm going to go ahead now and plug a new USB drive here once you have your USB drive plugged in it's going to appear here and again like we did earlier all I have to do is go ahead and select it and click on select once you confirm that everything looks the way you want it you can go ahead and click flash and that again will start the creation of your bootable USB Again, Belina Etcher will validate your USB to make sure that it is bootable. And if it doesn't find any errors in it, again, since I'm using Linux on it, it's going to tell me that the computer doesn't know how to read it, but you will be ready to eject it and pull it out from your computer. And then you can go ahead and use that bootable USB on any other computer. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please go ahead, click on that like button. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead, subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching.